So what is a form? A form is defined as any type of legal contract that you might want to generate that has artworks included on it, that is sent to a specific person, and that has terms at the bottom with some signature lines. Um, and examples of the types of forms you might generate are like consignment out, a consignment in, a loan form, a receipt, a return, uh, an on approval form, any of those types of forms that you might want to generate, you can set up yourself in the settings file. It's unlimited the number of forms you can generate. And essentially, um, you can name them anything you want. You can have any terms that you want to appear um, at the bottom of each. Um, and there's lots of settings that you can, you can set for those. So here's an example of a consignment agreement that I generated in Artbase. Now I'm going to come back to the inventory, and I'm going to show you how I created this. Okay, so here I am in my inventory file. This is probably where you'll start. Um, and you would want to select the found set of the records that you want to generate your form for. So review that training uh, video on finding records um, to learn how to do that. So in here, I have a current found set right now of two records. I could generate a consignment form based on those two, but I'm going to do it just based on the one I'm looking at. So in order to do that, you go to the inventory menu at the top of the screen, which essentially has everything you might want to do in here, and you can just read. So for example, you can choose Create Form. And when you choose Create Form, it says for this one artwork or all the works in your found set. So I'm going to do just this one. Find and select the contact record. So this is the person you're sending the form to. When I click OK, it takes me to a list of my contacts and I can start, start searching by just typing in this field here. Uh, I can then choose the contact that it found. And then it will prompt me for the type of form I want to generate. So again, these are the forms that I've set up in the settings file. I'm going to choose a consignment out agreement. I specified in the settings file that when I generate a consignment agreement that I want it to change the items to consigned out in the status field as you can see behind here this is the status um, and so if I ch choose update it's going to now change you see the status for this record to consigned out and it's going to change the color and letter code as well it now asks me if I want to change the current location of these items to the selected contact record. So let's just say that um, I'm generating consignment today and it's going to ship to them today. I might say update and it will save me the time of changing the location for this person's uh, to this person's record. Um, but maybe I'm making the consignment form today, but I'm not shipping it for a couple of weeks, in which case I can hit skip to skip that option. Okay, so here's your form. It's going to pop in some contact information, uh, the information about the artworks you selected. It's going to generate a form number automatically for you, and there you see you can see your form type that we chose. So without making any changes, I'm going to hit the print button in the upper right-hand corner, and that will take me to a little preview where I can print my form from, but I can also view it to um, get a preview of what it's going to look like. So here's an example of a form that you can generate. This is one of many different templates that you can choose from in the settings file um, in how this looks. Some of them have a line, some of them don't, some of them have the date on the right hand side. There's various options and you should review that in the settings file. Okay, so now I can come back by hitting continue and make some changes to my form. So uh, this will pop in today's date for the form date, and I can change that if I want to. I can also enter an end date for this consignment. Um, I can see whether this consignment has been returned or not, and we'll review that later. Sort by artist. So let's say I'm making a consignment form, but it's of like 20 different works, and um, they're all by the same artist. Rather than having the artist name appear on every single work, you can choose sort by artist, and it will subsort by each artist name. Uh, and whether you want an image to appear on the consignment. Okay, you'll see here you have form to and form, form from. This will automatically default to your contact information, but you can change it if you want to. 
In template number five, so there's different templates that you can choose from and what your, what your consignment looks like. Um, uh, in the settings file, you can specify if this is the consignor or the consignee, and this information will print, but it only prints on template number five, so just be sure of that. Okay, and you can also specify if this is the consignor or consignee here. Okay, and um, under items, you'll see that there are different prices. You can specify in the settings file which prices pull in automatically, but you can come in here and type any price that you want to. You can also specify any currency that you want each price to be in. You can also specify, for example, this is a net price. Maybe I want to give them a specific discount. This is a dis discount percentage for that net price. And it will do the math for you, of course. Okay, when I specified that I wanted my form type out, um, it popped in what I like it to say, which is consignment agreement at the top, but I can change this to anything I want. This is just a, an ed editable field. You can also change the font size. You can designate whether the prices print or the totals at the bottom print. So for example, if you preview this, you can see this is just one artwork. There's no real reason for me to have both the prices next to the artwork and the totals at the bottom on this, th this consignment. So I would maybe take the totals off. You can also specify whether the fact sheet prints. So this is provenance, exhibition history, and things like that. So you can say, no, I don't want that to print. Uh, other inventory number. So you can specify whether the uh, other inventory number uh, prints on there, and that's this field here in the inventory. Okay, so um, let's preview that one more time. So we've made those changes. There's no more totals. The, the provenance information has no longer is no longer printing. It's um, defaulted some text at the bottom and some signature lines. So let's go see where we can change that. Over here in my comments tab, you can edit the comments that appear on the form. Uh, there are two different comment fields. One prints above the artworks, and the comments number two prints below the artworks. So for example, you might use this above field to say something like, the following works will be on consignment from this date to this date, something like that. Um, the comments at the bottom are what appear just above the signature line. You also, so not only does this pop in automatically for you based on what you've chosen as your form type, and it changes, and you can, by the way, change the form type anytime you want to. If I've changed my mind and I want to do um, a loan form, I can switch it, and it switches out my comments to something else. You can also do insert saved comments. And so these are those little bits of text that you're always typing over and over again, maybe talking about the responsibility of, of who's shipping the work or who's responsible for insurance, things like that. So um, in order to not have to type it over and over again, you can use this little feature here, which you can set up in the settings file and you can just click on insert saved comment. And here are the comments that I've set up and I can choose, for example, shipping and it will pop in my shipping text. And this is now editable. I can come in here and type something else if I want to. If I want to edit these saved texts, I can hit this edit button here and it will take me to the settings file to edit my comments. Okay, in here you can also change what it says below the signature line and you can specify whether the digital signature appears automatically. So for example, I have this di digital signature that I have created a JPEG for and I've imported it into the settings file. Um, and I've specified that I want it to print out. But maybe I need to actually sign this in by hand and mail a copy to someone. Um, I wouldn't want that digital signature to print, so you can uncheck that signature image checkbox. And now you can see that that digital uh, image of Winston Churchill's signature does not print anymore. Okay, um, you can specify who is the salesperson, what was the art fair, these fields don't print, they're just for your reference and you can search on them. Uh, form notes, just any notes about this. You can also attach a document to this form. So uh, we talked about documents in the intro to the inventory. Um, you can attach a document to a form as well. Okay, so 
Um, let's have a look at the Forms menu now. So you know that you can go to the Print screen by hitting uh, the Printer icon, and that will take me right here. And from here, I can hit Print and print this document out, or I can save it as a PDF by hitting the PDF button. Um, also, when you're on this screen, you can go to the print button, uh, sorry, print menu at the top, and turn the letterhead on and off here. You can also print and save as a PDF. It does the same thing as the buttons do. Um, the forms menu at the top of the screen is also a place where you can print the form. It does the same thing as the little printer icon here. Uh, or you can print a shipping form, which we'll review in the shipping training demo. Um, you can email the form. So this is a really easy way to email a PDF of this form. What this is going to do is it's going to generate automatically a PDF of this form uh, with your letterhead on the top of it, and it will automatically attach that to an email. So let's go ahead and try that. So it's automatically popped my email address in there. I can come in here and choose from other email addresses if I had more listed in there. Um, it will already attach my document. So there's in attachments, there's my form as a PDF. And, um, and I can write a little personal note, and I can hit send email. Okay, so more things in the forms menu. So not only can you email the form, but you can also email a shipping form. You can print out an envelope with this address on it. Uh, you can mark the, the form as, as returned, and we're going to re review that in a moment. You can change the form number. So this particular form for me is 954. I can change that number if I want to. Uh, you can also set the form number um, to start at 1000 or 2000, wherever you want it to start at. Let's just say you forgot an artwork and you want to add it onto this consignment. This is how you would do that. You'd choose Add Artwork and follow the instructions. Change the contact. So maybe it turns out you chose the wrong Tanya. You want to put a different one in there. You can um, change contact here. Um, copy form as text. So let's just say you're looking at this form and you want to change something really different about this and, and doing it in this format is, is not working for you. What you can do is you can essentially copy all of this information to your clipboard and paste it into Microsoft Word or some kind of word processing program. In order to do that, you just go to the forms menu at the top of the screen and choose copy form as text and it will copy all of that text and you can paste it into your Microsoft Word or something else. You can do the same thing with a shipping form. Archive form. So let's just say that you kind of want to lock down this information um, into and sort of save it as a, as a PDF so you can see what the original form looked like um, at all times. Uh, you can choose archive form. What that does is it creates a PDF of the form itself and then it, it, it creates a, a document here and attaches the PDF as a document. So you can essentially see frozen in time what that consignment looked like, even if you make changes to it later. Okay, so once I've created my form, let's go and have a look at where that got recorded in my inventory and my contacts file. So back in the inventory, remember it's now changed it to consigned out. So I know that that happened. I can also go to Forms and Lists, and you'll see there's that loan form I just generated. And I can go back to it anytime by clicking the blue dot next to it. it takes me right back to the form. I can also, let's just say I'm looking at the form and I want to see this person's record. I can click on this icon here, and I can either select a new address for that contact by choosing Select, or I can hit contact and it will take me back to this person's contact record in my contacts file. So here I am on this contact record. If I go into forms, I can see the form that I've generated today. Okay. Um, and that is generating forms in Artbase.